So here's where I left it on the last video. I'd got the PyPico W serving CSS files off the file system. As I explained before, the CSS is a way that you can style your web pages that you might put on that. But CSS is what you use, but it is quite a labour intensive way of doing it and the way of styling your documents. And there's other things that you can use that are called frameworks to make CSS a bit easier. And I just thought I'd show you one of them, which is called Bootstrap, show you how ridiculously easy it is to get this working on the PyPico uh, because Bootstrap does all the work for you really. So here is the file that I previously did. Uh, it's serving the web page, as you can see, and it was that horrible green. So I think to start with, let's just stop the web server and I'm going to do a save as and save it as something else. So let's call it CSS files and bootstrap. Now for bootstrap stuff, you don't actually need to have the bootstrap files, the CSS files stored on the Pico. So if you're limited to the space you've got, this is the way to do it. All the hard lifting is done by this, it's done by your browser. So let's have a look at our basic style that we got. Got these links in there. I'm going to get rid of those. I'm at least going to get rid of one of them. Let's just stop that and play that. That should change the color of something if we got rid of them. Yeah, so it changes the color of the top bit. I'm going to go to get bootstrap bootstrap.com uh, and if you go to the getting started guide on here it says this is what you've got to do to use bootstrap so there's a couple of extra things we've not got I'm just going to put these in because it's useful to have it anyway so let's put the well, I've got doc type HTML HTML there let's just set this viewport size what bootstrap also does is that it means that it gives you a consistent look whether you're on a web browser like this one or whether you're using it on a mobile device which might be much better way for you to be accessing your PyPico web server so let's just copy those and I can put those before the title and then after the title there's this link so what this actually does, this pulls off the bootstrap code from a public place, a CDN, Content Delivery Network. So you're not actually storing the bootstrap on your Pico. So there's that bit there. And then in the actual body, you've got to add this script there as well. But both of these don't actually pull it at all off the PyPico. So we've got rid of, you see, we've got rid of the CSS file that's on there. Now, even though this bit processes the CSS file, I'm just going to leave it for this file um, because you might want to put your own CSS on it as well. But for this file, I'm just leaving it. So let's just stop it and let's run it again and refresh this and see what's changed. Yeah, so notice it's a much cleaner, a sharper font there. And these are different. They've pushed up to the side and of course the green background has gone. So that is bootstrap working now to prove how good bootstrap is let's put some bootstrap code in here to start with i want this to be in a little block in the middle of the page so first of all let's add what's called a div you can think of it as a divider or a division really it's a compact a container that things are in in html set that div there and we'll give the div a class so i'll say class so all of these classes now are bootstrap classes so i'll set the div class to a container and i'll do px4 which is type of padding i'll do text equals center so let's see if i stop and start again and once it's connected refresh that oh yeah uh -huh. right okay let's pop that there So text center, let's try that again. Right, and refresh that. So straight away, that's put it into the middle of the page. I can add extra things to it to begin to make it look a bit prettier. Um, so text center, I can say it's got a border. So stop and start. And there's a little border appeared there, a little gray border. You can just about see it. Let's give it different padding as well. So we'll do it uh, top and bottom padding, which I think is P, P3, I think, if I do that. Stop, start. Yeah. So you see the, the web page is getting prettier bit by bit. And let's give it a, um, a, a light background as well. So we'll go text, background, light which would give a sort of a light gray 
Yeah, you might just be able to make that out. Text BG light. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. You can learn all of these classes from the Bootstrap web page. And if you add things to it, it just changes the look of your web page. Let's just do one more thing. Let's these two buttons move traffic from left, move traffic from right. I'm going to add a class to this. So class and equal. And this is a button. So BTN stands for button and BTN it's minus primary is the primary type of the button. I think I'm going to have to, because I've got these here, I'm going to try and escape those. OK, let's use double quote. Somebody told me how to do this in the um, comments, but I've forgotten what it was. Sorry, but thank you. Um, so stop it. Run current script. OK, so that looks all right. And I hope if I've got that CSS right, if I refresh that, we should see a button there. Let's try that. Stop. Start. OK, oh, I'm changing this. I'm changing the wrong bit here, aren't I? I'm changing this when traffic can move from right. So let's go in and click to um, one of these now, that one. There you go. So you see I've got a button there now, change direction. So that's on that bit. So if I copy that class and roll of button to the other one, I'm just coming back to this a few days later. So I've forgotten the different nuances of the code. Stop that and play that. So that should be a button on both pages now. Yeah. And then on the main page, it was this bit that I should have added it to. So there's button primary and there's button primary there. So let's stop that, play again. And now this page, hopefully, if I've not pasted it in the wrong place, that should be buttons now. And it's not buttons. Oh, I don't need to escape them here. So run that, refresh that and lovely. So we've got two lovely buttons. You can change the color of these buttons as well. Um, button primary is that. Let's say you wanted, it doesn't work on this, but say you wanted a stop and a go button. You can use success and danger. So success is green. So I'm going to change that to success. And let's go to the other one and change that to danger, which is red in Bootstrap. So let's run that and then we should have different colored buttons. So there you go, just to show how simple it is to get Bootstrap working on a PyPico W. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I do lots of different videos on this channel. I do some coding stuff. I do stuff about Picos. I also do some crafting stuff as well. So if you're interested, please like this video. Please subscribe. OK, bye.